Good evening. We begin this hour 18 with a CBS 2 exclusive. A couple talking only to us just one day after carjackers pointed a gun at them and stole their car, all while they were buckling their son in to the back seat. What you see happened here happened in Bucktown, captured on a camera neighbors put up because of an increase in crime, just like the one you see. So far this year, Chicago's seen nearly 1,400 carjackings. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick spoke to the couple and joins us live with their stories and how the numbers compare to years past. Meredith. Brad, the couple tells me they were aware how frequently carjackings happened in the city and that they could become victims, but they never expected it to happen on a Sunday morning in broad daylight with their small son in tow. Definitely make sure I, I see the gun and then just ask me for the keys. So I did give him the keys and then he said, you know, take the baby out. The family asked us to protect their identities. They were on their way to a Halloween party Sunday when the carjacking happened. Because I saw the front door was open, I was about to enter from the back to ask, is, is everyone ready? But at that time, I saw um, the carjacker and um, he has the gun point at me and saying that move back. And, and then I realized it's a carjacker and I was... It can only help, I think. A man who lives in the same condo building as the couple tell us another neighbor was the victim of an attempted carjacking just weeks ago. He was able to get away, but the condo residents didn't want any Anyone else to become victims. As soon as this happened, that one guy seemed to have that expertise and he's like, let's put the cameras in. I know exactly how to do it. It's the same cameras that captured Sunday's carjacking. It's just one of the most recent carjackings in Chicago with nearly 1,400 through October 24th. Of those, 40 were in Wicker Park in Bucktown, 13 in Bucktown compared to 7 at this time last year, 28 in Wicker Park compared to 15 in 2020. The family telling me they're sharing their story tonight, hoping it will lead to the arrest of this carjacker. We just want you know this to be, to be done with because it's just really terrifying and we don't want any victims after us. Police say the same suspect in this carjacking could be responsible for two other carjackings last Wednesday in Wicker Park. Reporting live in Bucktown, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News. Speaking only to CBS 2's Meredith Barrett. Meredith, thank you.